And assalamu alaikum, uh, Felix. Uh, I'll be teaching inshallah Gabriel in mathematics of algebraic. This chapter is very, very easy, okay? I know you have problem with it, but I will help you. We have algebra. This kind of mathematics is originated from Egypt, which is one of the African countries here. Just understand that. Then it has three ways of examining, or you can be asked in three ways during uh, examination. The first thing you'll be asked is simplifying an expression. The second will be uh, solving equations, be it they grammatically or whatsoever it is. Okay? You can also be asked in the examination uh, a concept of algebra which is called substitution for information, where we substitute the value of a letter in an equation given. Okay? So now let's start with the simplification. Simplification of algebraic expression, yeah? Of algebraic expression. This is what you're gonna see, okay? Simplification of algebraic expression is what we are going to see for information. When you're saying we want to simplify a certain expression, remember we are only collecting the like terms. Just understand that. Okay? We have in algebra, we have the like terms and the unlike terms for information. The like terms are those with the same letters, while the unlike terms are those with different letters. So in algebra, we collect letters or we collect uh, certain quantities based on the letter they are carrying. Okay? Just understand that. So we'll start with the, uh, as far as your your knowledge of uh, grade 9 is concerned we are going to see the first one as this one the actual example one simplify simplify then we have this one we have a 7x squared plus 3x minus x squared minus 10x so the moment you encounter such kind of equation, uh, such kind of expression in the examination, and you are told what? You are told to simplify. You are going to collect the like terms for information. I think you understand this language better than us because you are there in Canada. So you collect the like terms. Here, uh, we have these two. They are the same, of course. These two are also the same. So when you come to the solution, you write the equation, the expression given, which is 7x squared plus 3x minus x squared minus 10x. So we are, we are going to collect 7x squared. Then check this one. The nature of this one. It's kind of negative. So it will be minus x squared plus 3x minus 10x. Remember, 7x squared minus x squared will give you 6x squared. Then the question here is, what will I write? Will I write negative or positive? Now when you look at this one, Look at this pair. You have 3x minus 10x. Remember, the one which is subtracting, the quantity which is subtracting, is bigger than the other one, which is subtracted from. So now, 3 minus 10, 3x minus 10x, you'll say 10 minus 3 is 7. But I'll give it negative, yeah? I'm going to say minus 7x, because the number which is subtracting, okay, is bigger than the number which is subtracted from, okay? Just understand that. So this is how you're going to solve in the examination such kind of uh, question for your information, okay? Now let's see another one. Let's see this one. We have a... Uh, let me write it here. We have B. We have B as 5x open the bracket 4x minus 3. Now this is a matter of uh, opening the bracket, yeah, just understand. We are opening the bracket. So remember, this quantity outside the bracket is separately multiplied by every quantity inside the bracket. Just understand that. So this is what they're going to say: five x dot four x. The word dot is not decimal. Remember, it is multiplication. You can also use the cross sign, which is multiplication sign. But in such scenario situation, what you're going to do is you're going to say five x times four x. But remember, we use dot. Dot is also another sign for multiplication, remember. Then you will say, write this one. Minus, you write the minus, the sign inside the bracket. 5x, 5x times 3. 
5 x times what? Times 3. So here we'll have 5 times 4, 20. X times x is x squared. Yes, understand that. 5 times 4 is 20. Remember, these two quads are both carrying x letter, letter x. So we're going to say x times x meanwhile. We're going to say x times x is equal to uh, x squared. Then minus 5x times 3 is 15x. So we cannot subtract because they are of different here. Yeah? They are unlike. Of course, this one is carrying power and this one is not carrying power for your information. Just understand that. Then if we go ahead and see more examples, we will go ahead and see more examples. We have C. Make sure you go with me. Yeah? Uh, we have a uh, 2 open the bracket, 7x minus 3 inside the bracket. Then we have a minus 3, then x plus 1. So in such situation again, we will open the bracket, just yes, understand, yeah? 2 times, you can say 2 times 7x minus, write this sign. Then again, 2 times 3, 2 times 3. Then write minus 3 times x minus 3 times x then minus 3 times 1 minus 3 times 1 okay after doing that remember we're saying 2 times 7 x then write the sign inside the bracket 2 times 3 again then minus 3 times x minus 3 again times 1 which is positive okay then 2 times uh, 7 x is 14 x minus because 2 times 3 is 6 then here we'll have minus 3 times x is what? 3x. Then minus 3. Because negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Don't forget. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Yes, I said that. So uh, from there, we are going to collect the like terms. We'll have 14x minus 3x minus 6 minus 3. Here we'll have 11x. 14 minus 3. 14x minus 3x, 11x. Then there's a law which says, if a negative number is followed by another negative number without the multiplication sign in between them. Yeah, we don't have multiplication. It is minus 6 minus 3. That will give you minus 9, okay? If a negative number is followed by another negative number without the multiplication sign in between them, you just add them and give them uh, give the results negative, yeah? Just understand that. So this would be 11x minus 9, okay? Just understand my sister letter, yeah? It's very easy. So this is how we are going to simplify uh, expressions, yeah? I will also give you more examples in our next video for the information. But now let's go and see uh, equation as far as what you have seen is concerned, okay? Let's see. I, I think in the process you can write this thing. The moment I'm, I'm writing, you can also write and have them in your essays for your information, okay? Let me write because I know you write it later. In the process of calculation, make sure you go with me. Half your pen, your calculator, then plus the excess book. You just write there. Okay? Then we will proceed to uh, equation. Algebraic equation. This is what we're going to see again. Equations, yeah? Now, algebraic can be examined in the examination in three ways. I told you initially. That you can be asked question from equations, a question from a simplification of algebraic, and another question from a substitution. Okay, then the three of them you must know. When you're saying simplification is a process, don't forget you're collecting the like terms. Yeah, just understand. Okay, when you're talking about equation, you will have one quantity equated to another one. So from there you are expected to get the value of a letter. Just understand that. So here. Uh, I will start from the simpler one, then we will go to the most complex one for your information. You are told, example one, you are told, solve the flowing equations. Solve the flowing equations, okay? Then we want to get the value of a letter, don't forget that. We have A for x minus 11 is equal to 9. Now we need to get the value of x in this situation. So algebraic is very, very easy. Just understand the basic knowledge of this concept of mathematics. Yeah? Now, I will take this one. When you come to the solution part, look here. You will, you're going to say, for x minus 11 is equal to 9. Write what you're given first. Then remember, this is a normal number. 
So you take this one to the other side. We are collecting the light times, remember? We will take this one to the other side. And remember, when the lambda is having a negative side, a negative sign, sorry, on the left hand side of the equation, and you take it to the right hand side of the equation, then that lambda will change its nature. Nature means the sign here. Yeah? If it's positive here, it will be negative on the other side. If it's negative here, like this situation now, it will be positive on the other side. So we're going to say, taking this one to the other side, to the other side, it will change the sign here. Yeah? So it will be 4x is equal to 9. Then this will be plus 11. Because here it's negative. The moment it crosses the equal sign, it will change the sign. I yeah? just understand. So it will be positive, yeah? So we'll have 4x is equal to add these two, change it. Then we want to get the value of x. 11 plus 9 is 20. We want to get the value of x, yeah? We divide both sides by the coefficient of x, yeah? The lambda which is attached to x. This lambda is called coefficient of x, okay? So we want to we will divide both sides of the equation by the lambda which is preceding x, yeah? The lambda which is attached to x, yes, understand? So cancel this one. So x, therefore, you are left with x because the moment you cancel these two, pi 4, 1, pi 4 is 5, okay? That is the value of what? The value of x. Now you can confirm. You can confirm by substituting this value here. You can say 4 times x value, which is 5, is 20. 20 minus 11, it will give you 9. So that's full proof, okay? Just understand that. So this, this is how we are going to solve. The moment this number is negative, when you take it to the other side, it will change the sign. Don't forget, it will be positive. So you have 4x is equal to 9 plus 11. Then 4x is equal to add this 2 to be 20. Then to, for you to get the value of the letter x, divide both sides by the coefficient of x. That's the number which attached to x, yeah? You divide both sides by 4. Then from there you're going to get x value as, as 5 for your information. And let's see this one. Let's also see this one. We have uh, x plus 8 is equal to 6x minus 7. Okay? Now, on both sides of the equation, you have uh, different quantities. Can't you see? We have x plus 8 is equal to 6x minus 7. Now, we will collect the like times. Because this x and 6 are of the same community. Yeah? So, we will collect them. And when collecting, again, there's one, one thing to consider. When you're collecting, collect the one which is always smaller. Because here we have x alone. And here we have 6x. So I will take this x to the other side, yeah, of this equation. Equal sign, yeah, just answer. The moment you transfer this one to the other side, remember you will also transfer this one to this side because these are like times, 8 and 7. x and 6 are also, x and 6x are also like times. So the moment you transfer this one to the other side of the equation, you will also transfer 7 to the other side of the equation. This is that reverse, uh, uh, reverse transfer of coins, yeah, just answer. So I will take this one. And remember this x is positive. Look here. We don't have negative sign here. A letter written like this is positive. Don't forget. Okay? So x is positive here. The moment you take x to the other side, it will be negative. Then this 7 is negative here. Can you see? It's negative on this side. So the moment you transfer this side, it will be positive. Just answer. So collecting the like times, it will be 8. Then take this one to this side. Plus 7 is equal to 6x. Write this one. So what's coming is x here. Just answer x is positive here on the other side it will be minus okay and 7 was negative here on this side it will be positive so we have 15 8 plus 7 is 15 is equal to 5x divide both sides by 5 then to get the value of what of letter x cancel take your time then by 5 1 by 5 3 so x which is this one is equal to 3 just answer so that's how you're going to solve such kind of uh, algebraic equation for your function, okay? Yeah, that's how we're gonna solve, okay? Let's proceed ahead. We have another one of these. We have C, X out of 3 plus 1 is equal to 2. Okay? As far as what you have said is concerned, I will also give you more examples about this one right now. The first thing, when you have that kind of equation, X divided by 3, Plus 1 is equal to a 2. When you have such kind of equation in the examination, first you transfer this one to our side. Yes, and stand up. So we say x out of the. Remember, this one is positive here. So the moment it crosses the equal sign, it will be negative. So it will be is equal to, write this 2 which was there initially, then take this one to our side minus 1. So it will be x over 3 is equal to 
1. Okay? You subtract 2, 1 from 2. So you'll get 1. Then we want to get the value of x, don't forget. Then we, we, we will eliminate this one. We will eliminate this one. Just understand that. How do we eliminate? We, we multiply both sides of the equation by, by the denominator. That's 3. Yeah? So you're going to say times 3 times also 3. Cancel. Then x is equal to 3. 1 times 3 is 1. It's 3. So that is the value of what? That is the value of x for your information. Yeah? Just understand. And that's how you're going to solve during uh, examination or any other time. Okay? Okay, let me add for you more examples which which is not part of what you have said, okay? Let's see more examples, yeah? This is how you're going to solve. Please make sure you have your access book, your pen, and you also communicate over the phone, yeah? The moment you have problem with this, yeah? You call me via WhatsApp, then I'll help you, okay? Let's go. Let me write more examples, yeah? So they understand. Let me write more examples. Okay? Let me write more examples. Sometimes you can be given, like this one, look here. 3x minus, look at this one, minus 3 is equal to 15. Okay, like this one, it's just like what we have been learning right now, just understand. Coming to the solution, we are going to say 3x minus 3 is equal to 15. We are writing the same, same equation given. Take this one to our side, remember it's negative here, just understand. So the moment you transfer to the other side, it will be positive, yeah? So you're going to say 3x is equal to 15 plus 3. Yeah, it's negative. On the other side, it will be positive. Then you'll have 3x is equal to 18, yeah? 15 plus 3. We need to get the value of x. Don't forget that. Then we'll divide what's attached to x, yeah? The coefficient of x. Cancel this thing. x is equal to, you cancel this thing, yeah? You are left with x. x is equal to by 3, 1, by 3, 6. So this is... The x value for your information. So that is how you're going to solve such kind of question or so in case you encounter any examination or just understand, okay? Okay, let's go ahead. Let me give you my examples. Then we have we may have 3 out of 4x. Look at this one, yeah. Minus minus 3 is equal to 18. You can be told in the examination to solve such kind of equation. 3 out of 4x minus 3 is equal to 18. Is equated to 18. So as I told you initially, we will take this one to our side. Yes, and start. So we'll have 3 out of 4x is equal to 18 plus 3. 18 plus 3. So 3 out of 4x, therefore, is equal to 21. 18 plus 3 is 21. We will... After that, after taking this one to the other side, then we will eliminate this one, the denominator, by multiplying both sides of the equation, the denominator. So how are we going to eliminate this four? We will multiply this four, which is the denominator, on both sides of the equation. We are going to say times four, times also four. You see, these two will cancel because they are on the same side of the equal sign, just and sign, yeah? So the x, the x, because these are have gone. These two, they have gone, yeah? Just and sign. Is equal to 21 times four, yeah? Then for you to get the value of x, divide both sides by 3. Cancel this thing. x is equal to by 3, 1, by 3, 7. 7 times 4, it will give you 28. That is the final answer. Yeah? Just understand that. Okay? Let me add for you one more. So I understand. Okay? Let's say, let's say, 5 out of 7x plus 4. Look at this one, yeah? It's equal to? 24. Okay. When you look at this one now, coming to the solution, we are going to say 5 out of 7x plus 4 is equal to 24. This is the question given. You write the equation first. Then you are going to say 5 out of 7x is equal to, here it's plus, on the other side it will be negative. Okay. So you are going to say 24 minus 4. Because this 4 is positive here. So the moment it crosses the equal sign, this sign, equal sign, then it will change the sign here, so it will be minus 4. So we'll have 5 out of 7x is equal to 20. 24 minus 4. Then times 7 times 7. Cancel. 5x, therefore. 5x is equal to 
20 times 7. Then to, to get x, what are you going to do? We will divide both sides by x. Just understand. Cancel this thing. By 5, 1, by 5, 4. So x is equal to 4 times 7 again, 28. That is as far as algebraic equation is concerned. This is not a statement equation, remember? So make sure you tell on these examples, yeah? In the event where you have challenge, make sure you write for me. Or you take a screenshot of the question, then send via WhatsApp using the phone of Papa Chimale, yeah? And make sure you send, yeah, if you have problems. Sorry, I wanted to send this thing three weeks ago, the moment she communicated to me, but I lost my phone, okay? I really apologize. From today, send. I will give you daily uh check okay? I'll give you every day I'll give you the uh, give you the solution of your problems, okay? Otherwise have a nice day.